Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. KK4ZDZ Tech here, my name is Matthew. And today we're going to be doing a firmware upgrade on a Cantronics KPC3 Plus. Now, this unit I use for my primary eye gate here in my station, but it has an internal bug on the firmware that makes it buffer that eventually it backs up so much in the buffer, it crashes the software. But uh, luckily, uh, the, the folks at Cantronics um, sent me a new firmware chip. And uh, KPC 3P Revision R. And we're going to be installing this today in my unit. All right. Let's get busy. So far, uh, for tool-wise, uh, just a screwdriver and a standard uh, standard chip puller. That's all we need. Uh, this unit has two screws, one on each side. Set that side there. And get the hood off. All right, we're in. Nice. All right, we're looking into the unit. We're going to see uh, that is the KPC 3P, not Revision R. It's the older version of firmware in the uh, EEPROM. All right, and we'll take note of the notch on the uh, socket and on the new chip itself uh, to for alignment purposes to make sure you get it inserted right. All right, let's take it out. And use the chip puller. All right, that came out fairly easy. All right. Here's our new firmware chip. Note the notch in the chip. We'll note the notch in the board. All right, we're in. Nice. Well, that didn't take too long to upgrade. Well, once again, thanks to the guys over at uh, Cantronics for helping me out. I did recently change the uh, real-time clock battery and the memory battery uh, once every two years for this guy. All right. Stick the hood on here. Get our two screws. All right, the screws are in. Fantastic. All right, that should upgrade this to the new revision. Uh, and the buffer problem should no longer happen when it's in uh, eye gate mode. Okay, folks. Appreciate everybody uh, tuning in for this uh, repair video for this one. And uh, hang in there for the next one coming up here shortly. All right, stay by.